So you got the new Ning Guang outfit. Great. But something happened. You've been hypnotized by those thighs. Bars. You realize how much you've neglected Geomami and those friends in your server, especially that one, will make fun of how little damage you do. It's like you're throwing little pebbles. Lady Ningguang is not pleased. Just let that time you procrastinated in your homework to play Genshin Impact waking up to the reality that you need to complete this assignment in order to graduate, but the stress of living up to everybody's expectations is killing you on the inside. And you're only one step away from kicking that professor of straightness. I have the guide just for you. Care for a game of Lee? Hey. Hey, hey, pay attention. I'm going over the rolls. First of all, Ningguang's two rolls. Burst DPS, fast damage with burst. She has a lot of crystals, they all go woo, fly around, lock on the targets, and then explode. Her second roll I call Ning Battery. You can get a lot of energy back for your main DPS who is a Geo user. Also, she's pretty bad. Woo! Every time you hit Ningguang's E, you get a ton of energy back, and with the Favonius weapon, you get even more. Now to her weapons. You are millennial. Now you listen here, I need you to pay attention. I'm gonna go over each weapon. I have all their pros ready for you, simplified. And no, before you say it, Ning Guang's money does not count as a weapon. Skyward Atlas, attack percentage, five star weapon, gives you more geo damage and gives you a small little turret. Boss prayers, crit rate, speed, and more geo damage. Speed is in movement speed. Post Eagle add-in. This catalyst is insane. This is also probably a great weapon on Ningguang. It has crit damage on it. It's the only catalyst with crit damage at the five star level. The only issue is whether or not she can fully get the prompt out of it because she can't use her skill three times in a row. Some people have said there's a possibility you could, but I know you can get at least two stacks on it, which is still really, really good. Memory of Dust, attack percentage, attack stacks plus shield buff, requires a shield though. Solar Pearl, the battle pass weapon. Crit rate. Your normal attacks also boost your burst and skill, and then vice versa, your burst and skill will boost your normal attacks. The Wind Sith, crit damage, and this one has a couple of chance factors on it. A chance for attack percentage, a chance for geo damage, or the only negative one here, a chance for E. Protocol Tails, which has attack percentage, and your normal attacks boost your charge attack, and your charge attack boosts your attack. Lastly, if you need Ningguang as a battery, you can use the Favonius on her. Every time you land a crit with the Favonius, you get more energy. So my recommendation is, look that child straight in her eyes, and snatch that book and give it to Ningguang. It'll give me a- Say it with me. Basa. Basa. What is Basa? Burst, skills, autos. Now, don't be fooled. Ning Guang is a character that requires heavy investment. Each one of her talents we're about to go over are very, very valuable. So be prepared to spend all that Moira on a lady who has more Moira than you. It all belongs to Lady Ning Guang. Ning Guang's normal attack, she shoots two rock missiles. These missiles, after hitting an opponent, give you an extra missile on your back. You can stack three of these extra missiles. You see them swirling around her back? Her thickness has her own gravity. After you get all those missiles, the only way those missiles can be launched for the maximum amount of explosive damage is by holding your charge attack and it will shoot all three of them and all go woo and do damage. Have ever wanted to hit somebody with a giant wall? Well, this is Jade Screen. You throw it out, it does a lot of damage. The scaling for the current level I'm at is almost at 400%, and it also provides you a shield and also a bonus, but we'll get to that when we get to one of her passive talents. Think of it as like a shower curtain. If they throw stuff at the shower curtain, so any projectiles, they'll catch it. But if they run at you while you're taking a shower, you're going to die, they will still hit you. Ning Guang has a low cost burst that shoots off tons of gems from where she is to enemies. They'll automatically lock on. Now, the one extra good part of this is if you're near Jade's screen, it'll turn it into another pillar that shoots off more gems. So you can have twice as many gems just by, by making sure you throw out the shower curtain first. Ning Guang's passive talent when she has all three jades, her charge attack does not cost her any stamina, so it allows you to get a little bit of stamina back. The one place Catalyst users suffer the most. So Ning Guang's second passive talent, if you run through the shower curtain, you get 12% extra geo damage. So you run through it before you burst, and you'll get more damage on your crystals. And then her other passive talent, Rich Lady is good at finding rocks. An opportunity to see- You might be saying, What artifacts do I run on Ning Guang? If I can't fix her, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a- Shut, Shut the, the freak, freak up! up! Imbecile! It's easy to tell what kind of artifacts Ning Guang needs because they share the same color scheme as her outfit. Archaic Petra and Gladiator Finale. And you might be saying, Oh, Eagle, but you're gonna recommend the fact that you can also use Noble S. Imbecile! Well, I'll have you know, her second outfit has blue in it.
So what you gotta do is put on that Archaic Petra for that 15% Geo Damage bonus, and then put on either Gladiator Finale or Shimonawa set for that 18% Attack bonus. Or the other recommendation, if you want to use two-piece Geo, two-piece Noble S, you make sure your Elemental Burst has 20% more damage. Lastly, you can use the Bull-Eyed set. The only thing is you'll need a shield constantly for it. This will buff your shield strength and give you an additional 40% in your normal and charge attacks. I don't think it's worth it to farm a four-piece set of an artifact set that is subpar versus just getting a two-piece, two-piece of two that you can farm. Exactly how good you so we're going to talk about three constellations. One constellation is a must-have, I would recommend, because she will do less damage otherwise. The second constellation is a nice buff that we have here. And then the final constellation improves and gives her more gravity. The first constellation, this constellation turns your normal attack into an AoE damage. It's like throwing a knife. And then when that knife hits somebody, it splits into multiple knives, making it a bomb of knives. So Constellation 2 is really good because if you use your burst, Ningguang shatters the Jade screen herself, which allows the cooldown to reset. So you are able to basically hit people with a wall twice, which is a lot of damage. It's also a lot of energy, which helps her get her burst back again and you can repeat the process as long as you're outside the six seconds and lastly is the constellation Ningguang is known for the seven star jades now this improves your damage by quite and I mean quite a lot the only issue is it's c6 so it's more investment you're gonna have to pull on banners that have her in it this isn't the most reliable constellation but definitely constellation one and constellation two are very very good you are as a player now for the team i run with ningguang sugar mommy ningguang because as you can see here she's stuck with two broke idiots who depend on her financially emotionally and for energy literally supposed to be your job to get energy in reality though you want two geo characters to make sure that you're getting the geo bonus which basically in short gives you a shield buff damage increase and geo shred so the geo resistance goes down with just two geo characters you'll be all right you can switch your third and fourth character over to other characters because ningguang is a bit flexible with her picks she herself doesn't have a huge problem getting energy back it's typically the dps she supports there are a lot of geo characters that do synergize with her units like Ito, Albedo, Yunjin can buff her normals from 1,000 to 4,000 on mine, and Noelle, because she does have a shield. Now, with all that said and done, your Ningguang should look something like this. One last thing, just in case Ning Guang is not enough damage for you, I do have this guide on Gan Yu right here. Click it. Do it now. Click this dang video right now.